tenants by choice to drive Aussie rental market in 2017, with more Rentvisters and innovation tipped. Rentvisters will become even more prominent this year, as the Aussie rental market is increasingly influenced by young people who are tenants because they want to be, not because they have to be. This is the prediction of Rent.com.au Chief Executive Greg Bader, who says this profile of renter will have the greatest influence on the market in 2017. Tenancy Tips How to Secure a Rental Property Rentvesting Should you buy where you can afford but rent where you want to live? Mr. Bader said many young Aussies wanted more out of life than just a mortgage these days. As a result, they were choosing to focus on travel, life experiences and their careers, rather than achieving what's typically considered the great Australian dream. Home ownership. Mr. Bader said this was supported by a recent survey of 1000 rent.com.au users that found one in five preferred renting as a lifestyle to buying a house, a growing proportion. Obviously compounding this issue is the fact that, at the moment, it is ludicrously expensive to buy a house in cities like Melbourne or Sydney, he said. The current generation of young Australians often gets criticised for living in the moment and paying for smashed avos all the rest of it, but I'm not sure that's correct. What young Australians really have is a higher valuation of their personal development and experiences over their net worth in terms of money. Mr. Bader said this attitude would drive two of the biggest rental market trends of 2017. Rentvesting and innovation in the industry. The former means buying an investment property in an area you can afford and renting in an area you want to live in. Mr. Bader said this new type of renter, who wasn't locked out of the property market but didn't want to compromise on where they lived, was on the rise in Australia and would continue to become more prominent this year. It's not the biggest segment in the market, but it is a growing segment that needs to be addressed, he said. 6% of respondents to the rent.com.au survey owned an investment property while renting, and a further 18% were saving for a house or investment property as tenants. The typical rentvester is a young couple living centrally in a capital city with a yearly household income of more than $100,000, who pay about $500 per week to live in the area that they want to, according to rent.com.au data. An LJ Hooker report released last year said the trend began to emerge in 2013, with rentvesters typically young professionals or university students driven by lifestyle choices and affordability constraints or work, study or other personal circumstances. Mr. Bader also expects to see more innovation in the Aussie rental industry as a result of the growing number of young renters by choice. He said if the traditional channels don't meet Gen Yers' needs, they go and find something better, evidenced by the rise of Uber and Airbnb. This meant the rental services that made the process easier and more efficient for all parties involved, tenants, landlords and property managers, would succeed in 2017. He referred to rent.com.us recently launched Pet Resume as an example. Once they've completed their resume, renters can attend a house inspection and send off an application immediately with the click of a button from their mobile phone, he said. Consumers nowadays are spoiled by choice and presented exciting innovations every day. It's about time the rental industry catches up. Samantha.landy at news.com.au